What's up guys, this is Zach Hample coming to you from Marlins Park for the third and final day of the Marlins 25th anniversary celebration. So you can see what I'm wearing right here. It's my original Florida Marlins baseball cap from like 25 years ago. Now I'm outside one of the player entrances here, lots of fans waiting for autographs. I just saw Mike Lowell come in along with Arrestus Destrada. And I got Arrestus to sign my ticket stub from today's game. You might remember him from a recent video I did in Tampa. He's now working as a Rays broadcaster, but of course he used to play for the Marlins, and the team here has brought back lots of former players for the weekend. There's going to be an alumni softball game today, so 100% no batting practice. If I do snag a softball, it doesn't count for my lifetime total, so hopefully I'll find a way to snag at least one baseball today. And other than that, we'll just see what else we can get into. Let's do it. Alright, as soon as I got inside this place, I got a baseball thrown to me by Marlins pitcher Dan Straley. So the streak lives 1,436 consecutive games with at least one ball. And meanwhile, so many former great Marlins out on the field. It almost feels like fan fest right now. It kind of has a home run derby, all-star game vibe. These guys are all being so friendly, talking to fans, taking selfies, signing autographs, and I got a whole bunch of them. I got Carl Pavano, Alex Fernandez, Charlie Huff, one of the best knuckleball pitchers of all time, Levon Hernandez, World Series hero, Juan Pierre, I used to love watching him play, Cliff Floyd, once got a bat from him at Shea Stadium. So just really great to see all these guys up close and so many others as well. Mike Lowell, Benito Santiago, Antonio Alfonseca, the list goes on and on. Now out in the outfield, there's like an auxiliary wall that's been set up basically to create a smaller field for softball purposes. So it should be pretty easy for these guys to hit home runs, but of course those balls won't be catchable. Looks like the players right now are taking the field, getting ready to get this game started. So I'm not even sure where I'm gonna go for it, but it's just gonna be fun to watch. fun softball game right there. A bunch of guys went deep, including a few off Charlie Huff who was really serving them up. Competitive game, the Marlins beat the Marlins. And right now I'm standing deep in the left field concourse. As I'm sure most of you know, this stadium does have a retractable roof, but it's not just the roof that opens. This entire back wall of glass panels opens as well. And yesterday, in fact, both of the last two days, right after the game ended, they opened this whole thing up and it really looks a lot different. It's much brighter, it's much breezier. There were some games in April when the whole thing was open, but this time of year, it's June right now, it's just so hot and humid and muggy that they keep it closed. Now, I was here last year for the Home Run Derby. It was so crowded up in this concourse that you could barely move. And some of those guys were hitting bombs, including Aaron Judge, who hit one way up off the glass panels. So if this back wall were open, you could have home runs fly completely out of the stadium. So that's just something that's really cool that I wanted to point out. the fifth inning already and it's been nothing but zeros for the Marlins. Clayton Richard is in control. It was nice to see him warming up in the bullpen and despite the fact that he's barely even touching 90 miles per hour on the radar gun, he is just shutting these guys down. As for me, I've really been working it. I brought my secret weapon, the Padres jersey. It hasn't worked yet, but I'm switching back and forth, trying to get a toss up. They are still using commemorative balls. This will be the last day for those special 25th anniversary balls. So, I am hoping to get at least one of those today.
standing ovation from everyone here at Marlins Park with two outs in the seventh inning. That's when Miguel Rojas broke up Clayton Richards no hitter with a clean single up the middle. And as for me, I got the ball that ended the fifth inning. That was a JT Riddle ground out. Eric Hosmer ended up with the ball and he tossed it right to me. And it has a beautiful, pristine 25th anniversary commemorative logo. So it feels great to get that one. Right now, looking at the scoreboard, the Padres are up three to one and this thing is almost over. It's a final here in Miami. The Padres won this game three to one to take this series two games to one. Outstanding pitching performance today by Clayton Richard and South Florida native Eric Hosmer was all smiles after the game. He hit a big two run homer, an opposite field shot to help lead his team to victory. As for me, I had an amazing time at all three games here this weekend watching the Marlins celebrate their 25th anniversary. Today, it was really cool to see so many former players up close and seeing those throwback uniforms, that was really cool. The way the scoreboards were decorated was in honor of the old stadium. Lots of throwback stuff all around. Really nice job by the Marlins. I got seven autographs today on some ticket stubs. I also snagged three baseballs, including that one after the game. So that brings my lifetime total to 10,399. All three days here this weekend, I did snag a commemorative game used ball. So that really feels great. And let me tell you one more thing about charity, okay? As I've mentioned, every single baseball that I snagged this year is raising money for a children's baseball charity called Pitch In For Baseball. 49 different people have pledged money, and if you add up all those pledges, it totals nearly $5 per ball. And I've snagged more than 230 balls this year, so that's more than $1,100 raised for this charity that provides baseball and softball equipment to underserved kids and communities all over the world. Check the description for this video. I will throw a direct link there to my fundraiser. And if you donate, you'll be eligible to win some really cool baseball prizes, including a custom glove from Wilson. That's about it for right now. As I mentioned earlier, they've been opening the roof every day after the games. You can probably see what that looks like behind me. Like I've been saying, this is a really tough place for catching baseballs, but it is kind of funky and designed in a pretty cool way. Anyway, that's it. I'm out of here for now. Thank you guys for watching.